As many of you may already know, if you're on a Mac, you can use Laravel Valet to quickly serve a Laravel application using the directory name as the hostname. In this video, I will show you how you can use Valet to serve a Vue 3 application. Now, I'm not in the business of wasting your time, so I'll say this from the start. This solution will not work with hot module replacement, it only works with a production bundle. The good news is we can still watch for changes and automatically trigger rebuilds, so there's that. Anyway, here's how you can do it. The first thing we'll need to do is create a custom Laravel Valet driver. To do that, I'll go to File, Open, go to my home directory, press Command Shift Dot to show the hidden files, go to dot .config, Valet, Drivers, and here we have a sample Valet driver PHP file. Let's duplicate this and rename it to Vue3 Valet Driver. Let's start by renaming the class to Vue3 Valet Driver and then go through each of these methods, explain what they do, and adjust them accordingly. The serves method determines whether or not this driver should be used to serve the directory. Basically here we need to figure out if the directory we're dealing with is a Vue3 application. As an example, we have a file exist statement that checks for the presence of a file that identifies my framework. In a Vue3 app context, we could check for the presence of vidconfig and index.html. So let's uncomment these. And here sitepath is the root directory. So if file exists sitepath vid.config.js and also if file exists of index.html then we should return true, meaning that Valet should be using this driver to serve the application. Next up we have is static file. This method determines if the incoming request is for a static file. And if it is, it returns the full path to it. However, our production files will not be under public, but under the dist directory. Finally, we have the front controller path method, and this should return the entry point of our application which for a view 3 app is dist slash index.html. Now that we are done configuring the driver, let's open the terminal inside the project directory and run valet link and then the project name. This will tell valet to serve this directory. And then let's also run valet secure my view. And this will install a TLS certificate. And it will also ask us for the password, so I'll type it in. Now we can go in the browser, type in myview.test, and we get an error saying failed opening required, blah, 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 dist slash index HTML. That's because we don't have a production build, so there is no dist directory here. To create one, we can do npm run build. Wait a few seconds, and here it is. Let's go back in the browser, refresh, and this is our view free app. However, having to run the build command every time we make a change doesn't seem that productive. We can't use npm run dev because this won't update the production bundle. What we can do is create a new script that runs with build, but with a watch flag. So I'll open the package.json file, duplicate this, name it to build watch, and add a watch flag. Now, if I open the terminal and run npm run build watch, open the app.view file and make a change. Let's say made a change, save, go in the browser, refresh, here's our change. Let's make another one. Save, go in the browser, refresh, and here's our change. And that was it. That's how you can use Laravel Valet to serve you three applications. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye.